current marksmanship tables in the annual rifle qualification are completely unrealistic to train a Marine to shoot a moving target. And any Marine watching this is going to know from shooting those movers on table two that that's the truth. Basically, when you go out for your annual qualification every year, you shoot eight rounds at a moving target, which, you know, for an annual qualification might be sufficient, but is that really going to give me the training I need in a combat scenario to where I have to shoot at somebody that's moving across my line of sight? That's not, you know, another Marine holding up a, a stick with a target on it, walking at a very slow pace. What am I going to do if I have a target that's running or I have a target that's running in a stop and go manner? Go to your home. The robots, they came with AWG, Asymmetric Warfare Group, out of the Army, and they're basically just a head and torso. Uh, they have a spinal column that runs down that registers hits by the percussion of the round going through. Run. It's just a pre-programmed thing, so once you, you uh, punch in whatever program you want to use, it's just pushing a key to get them to activate. Swing through, burst from the standing. Once we identify the actual technique that is most effective, then we can have the discussion about how we actually train that skill set in the Marine Corps. Potential being to implement some sort of training first as a pre-deployment requirement, and then potentially from there looking at how we modify the way we train moving target engagements for the annual training requirement for the Marine Corps as a whole. Nine years of being an infantryman, I've done one range that involved moving targets, and that's through you know five combat deployments. So if it makes it past here through the, the research and development stage and the data collection and actually formulates into a POI and gets spread out to the Marine Corps, I think the, there's nowhere we can go but up.